ladies and gentlemen, there's more changes that are being brought out since the great American eclipse. So now the scientists are saying that something did occur in the upper atmosphere, but it probably won't be felt on earth. But y'all, if you notice, a lot of people are behaving different. A lot of people feel different. A lot of people have a sense of unease. Like they know they don't feel the same. They know that things have changed dramatically. And I was even reading some people feel depressed after the eclipse. So global time signals have shifted as the total solar eclipse reshape Earth upper atmosphere. This is what the data is showing. So they said during the historic April 8th solar eclipse, a government radio station in Colorado started sending out slightly shifted time signals to millions of people across the globe as the moon's shadow altered the upper layers of our atmosphere. So, however, it did not change physical time, but they said something above did change. So, NASA operates a ham radio citizen science investigation and they constantly broadcast a special signal embedded in digital time codes to millions of receivers across the world. Devices that pick up the signal interpret the digital codes embedded within the transmission and use them to stay in sync with the atomic clocks, which serves as the gold standard for all US timekeeping. However, in order to do this, the signal must be bounced off of the ionosphere, the upper part of the atmosphere, 50 to 370 miles above the Earth's surface, where gases are turned into plasma, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And during the eclipse, the ionosphere was slightly altered as the moon's shadow raced across the U.S. at more than 1,500 miles per hour. As a result, the frequency of the signal began to bounce off this part of the atmosphere was slightly shifted. So they said it immediately changed during the um, eclipse and it never went back. So look like this is a permanent change. Spaceweather.com initially reported similar frequency shifts were also seen in other radio signals sent and received by amateur radio operators across the country. So they said that these radio waves will appear to most people to be unaltered, but it means devices that rely on these type of signals to keep time are unaffected, but above us, there were changes. Radio waves from other major time signal stations across the world, including WWV, a sister station in Hawaii, were unaffected, they said, during the eclipse. But they even noticed there has been a shift in the signal known as a Doppler shift, which happens when a distant uh, signal must travel either increases or decreases. These change can either stretch or truncate the waves. 
in which turns it alters the frequency and wavelength of the waves. Similar Doppler shifts have happened at least twice every 24 hours as the sun rises and sets. Researchers at the Space Science Institute in Boulder, Colorado, told Live Science in an email that everyday light from the sun causes an ionosphere change and the layers move and combine or separate. Well, you know what, y'all? I think a lot more changed than just the signals above, time signals. I think a lot of things changed. And I think they don't want to tell people because people, it's not us. I'm not talking about the Israelites. It's not us. But other people tend to panic a lot more easy than we do. And... I think if they told the whole truth about what has changed, it will send many of these people into a panic. But many of us, we already know these changes are going to happen. And there's nothing at all they can do about it. It's nothing they can do. So, wow. I think that from here on out, we're going to just see different things, not only in what they're saying, the time signal. I think we're going to see a lot of weather pattern changes. I think we're going to see more rapid changes in the weather like we're seeing over in Europe, where they have gone from a heat wave to going into the deep freeze and snow. And I think these things are going to occur a lot more often, you know? So the longer these folks try to stay in power, the worse the atmosphere is going to get on earth. That's what I think this is all about. But you may see things differently. Just tell me what you think about them saying the upper atmosphere time signal has changed since the eclipse. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.